Inhale, rise up, find once again your warrior. Draw the hands in, place the hands on the hips, bring the feet parallel, the shoulders and the hips square to the east. Allow the tailbone to slightly drift back, fold forward, wide leg forward bend, bring the palms of the hands down in union with the earth. Feel the coolness, the vibratory nature of the earth beneath you. Now seek the earth through the palm of the right hand as you move it directly underneath the crown of the head. You begin to open the heart center to the left and towards the north. Rotating the torso, draw the left arm up into the side plane. Exhale and unwind, slow, patient movement. A moment filled with patience is a memory. And now bring the hands once again to rest on the hips, rise up to standing. This is effortless, it is weightless. Bring the arms out into the side plane as you spin the left heel down into the earth. The right toes pivot out directly in line with the right shoulder, find Virabhadrasana 2, second side, hold the pose, relax the gaze, relax the body. Find yourself fearless, find yourself open, find yourself vulnerable. And now with that sense of grace and beauty, we begin to rise, keeping the lower body quiet and the arms in the warrior plane. We fold the upper torso back, 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 drawing the right arm out and up into the overhead plane, reverse warrior. The beautiful movement, the beautiful motion, the feeling of power and completeness. What pulls us away from us? What draws us from the inside out? Do we find our awareness? Do we find our trust? Do we find our sense of self? And now inhale, bring the arms back up, straighten into the right leg, extend the torso out and over, find the Pithanasana on the second side. Invite the heart to join you. as if you were new. Rise as if you were someone else. Come up. Feel your power. Feel your strength. Find your Virabhadrasana too.
and bring the hands once again onto the hips. The feet become parallel. Fold forward, wide leg forward, bend. Draw the palms down onto the earth. Feel the cool surrender of the grass beneath the palms. Allow yourself these moments of quiet, of stillness, of balance between effort and ease, of alertness, without tension, of relaxation without speediness. You now seek out the earth beneath the palm of the left hand as you draw that palm underneath the crown of the head. Open the heart center to the right. Rotate your torso, draw the right arm up and into the overhead plane. Exhale, slowly unwind. Place the hands on the hips, rise up to standing. With a sense of grace and fluid movement, turning the torso to the left, step and come standing at the front edge of your mat. The hands in Anjali Mudra find your Tadasana, your mountain pose. stood. The warrior did not falter. The warrior did not submit. The warrior stepped from the darkness into the light and became enlightened. quality of foundation through all four corners of the feet. Allow the shoulders to relax on the back body and slowly begin to lower all the way down into a deep squat. Seek your stability. Allow the elbows to rest on the inside of the knee. The hands come down to the mudra. Take a moment here to feel the toes, the soles of the feet, the ankles, Calf muscles, Allow yourself to feel, to enjoy, to find your own, to find your vibration. Receive the breath, and as you exhale, in a way that is safe and comfortable for you. Bring yourselves into a seated position on your mat. Allow the legs to extend in front, hip width apart. Find the staff pose, then the palms of the hands rest on the outside of the hips. Allow the eyes to close, seek your own. Feel your vibration as you lengthen through the back body. Now draw the arms ever so fluidly, ever so gently, ever so beautifully up into the overhead plane. Feel the sit bones as they rest into the earth. Allow your gaze to drift up and see the stars. See the sky, the trace of clouds. 
gather it in, draw it in, drink it in. And then with light, open the heart forward. And as you exhale, fold forward, Pashimottanasana, the forward bend. Feel the freedom within. Find your length. Liberate. Renew. Seek compassion for yourself. And now with the in breath, draw the body back up. The arms come back into the overhead plane. Turn the palms away from the ears, exhale, float the arms down alongside the body, come back into staff pose. Bring the soles to the feet together. Find your bodice mouth and eye, your butterfly. Capture the toes, allow the knees to float down towards the earth. Lengthen through the back body. Heel. Allow the eyes to close or seek your horizon in front. The butterfly prepares for flight, opening her wings in acceptance of the earth, of the air, of the light, opening, ever opening. Palms of the hands to support the wings. Draw the knees up to the midline. Soles of the feet can rest on the earth. Bring the palms of the hands down alongside the hips. And very gently, being kind to yourself, keeping your spine in alignment. Walk the hands back behind you and come into a position lying down on your mat. The knees can remain slightly flexed. And in breath, draw the knees up to the chest, hug the knees, rock up and down or from side to side, restore the lower back, breathe, capture the breath, hold it, Abhinasana. down onto the earth, allow the knees to sweep back and forth, to the right and to the left, like giant windshield wipers. And now draw both legs straight out in front and push apart. With an in-breath, fold into the right knee, draw it up extend the right leg all the way overhead. Reach up and capture the hamstring below the knee of the calf above. And just offer resistance to the hand, moving the leg forward and feel the stretch. Feel the opening. Feel the sense of liberation. 